What are these called? Banola bars. <laughs> Maybe we can look at the toys. We're supposed to be going to get essentials. Stock up on essentials and I just see what other stuff they have. So this is basically gonna be like the single girl's guide to Costco. I'm gonna show you the things that I normally get and stock up on and maybe give you some ideas of some stuff that you can stock up on in Costco too. People often think that Costco is just for like large families, but there is some stuff that you can get even if you're single or have a little family like I do. Thing I can actually recommend to you guys at Costco are the TVs. I purchased three or four, I don't even know how many TVs at this point from here because they have good prices, they have good selection. All the latest and greatest TVs, which I normally don't look at the $4,000 ones. I'm, I look more down at this section. If you're buying in bulk, you wanna get non-perishable items, things that are not gonna go bad, things that you know you're gonna use a lot of, so show the paper. detergent and it's on sale, 250 off. Forty juice boxes because I use these every day for lunch. <laughs> individually packaged snack so I can easily put it in your lunch and it'll stay fresher because this won't stay fresh in such a big bag. Stocked up the pantry, the, the snack boxes in my pantry. I guess if we're buying it bulk, we should stick to what we know. What are these called? Banola bars. Banola bars. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to buy at Costco? Fruit snacks. Fruit snacks? How many fruit snacks do you think are in that box? 10. 10? I think it's more than 10. It's almost 100. What else do you think we should get here? A big giant baby inside. A big giant baby? I don't think they sell big giant babies at Costco.
So don't sleep on their non-food, non-paper items such as kitchen supplies. I've gotten a whole set, well actually my mom bought it for me, a whole set of pots and pans from here that's really good. These are just like the ones I got from the container store for my pantry organization video and I bet these are cheaper. Only thing about Costco is they switch out their kind of like their stock, you never know what they're gonna have. So I had previously saw these bamboo organizers that I wanted, I didn't get them. Now they only have these clear organizers. These are still good but if you see something at Costco that's a good price, get it because they switch it out a lot. If you're a coffee drinker, you can stock up on your K-Cups here because you can get like 120 of your favorite flavor and just keep those in your pantry since they don't, you know, go bad quickly or anything like that. Unfortunately, I have like a favorite flavor that they don't carry here. What's the matter? You're not having fun at Costco? We can't open the fruit snacks yet, we gotta pay for it first. stuff but I typically really try to only buy the things that I know I'm actually going to use that we're actually going to eat I know it could be tempting at Costco to just get a whole bunch of stuff that you don't really need but I don't want to be wasteful so we will definitely eat and use all this stuff it's not gonna go bad or anything my pantry is a little bit in shambles right now I do have a large pantry, so that's also why I'm able to go to Costco and stock up on certain things so that I have the space to hold it. But I had a little bit of a catastrophe. <laughs> uh, I noticed that my builder did not put the, whatever you call these, stabilizers underneath this top shelf, and I had some heavy stuff on here. And basically the shelf broke off the wall and everything fell off the shelf. And I had like these big glass jars on there and literally one of these fell off and shattered on the ground. So we had to have them come and fix the shelf and everything. So my whole pantry is in shambles. I still need to basically completely redo and reorganize and reset everything up. I don't know if I'm gonna do all that today but I'm gonna at least bring everything in here. So I do actually keep extra paper towels and toilet paper in my pantry just cause I have the space in there. I may end up moving it to a different location in the house, like maybe even like, I don't know, the garage, but for now, we keep this stuff in the pantry. Again, I need to reorganize my pantry, but I'm just gonna put it here for right now. Trash bags I actually keep over here. Try to utilize the cabinet space. And then, Zaya, are you gonna help me put away the snacks? So for these, I like to keep these things stocked up so I can easily, you know, pack her lunch. Honestly, probably need to buy a few more of these containers so I can separate out different types of snacks. Ugh. Zaya is a good helper with organizing the snacks. You know how to do this, right? So let's open. Okay, you know which one these go in? Which one? put some goldfish in there too. But yeah, as you can see, I mainly stock up on snacks for Zaya. 
um, and the household supplies. So you guys comment down below. Let me know what are your favorite snacks, what are your kids like, what do you normally get from Costco? Put me on. Share your recommendations in the comments so we can all learn from each other. Zaya's favorites are like the Andy's Goldfish. She loves these Go-Go Squeeze applesauce pouches, and of course the fruit snacks and granola bars. But if you have any other recommendations, comment down below. We are going to finish putting away all the stuff, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.